Google Earth is the software download that is similar to Google Maps in that you can find uh, satellite pictures of anywhere in the world but Google Earth gives you quite a few different other options uh, of content that uh, either users can create or different companies have created. So on the left hand side here the first one is search. Um, you can fly to a certain place uh, you can find a business uh, if you're traveling and, and want to look at what will be close or just like Google Maps you can get directions in Google Earth so we're just going to do a fly to and the, the neat thing is that really you can go anywhere in the world so for example if you're doing if you're reading a book uh, and the setting is Alaska type in Alaska click the search box and it'll fly you right in and you can see that um, down here in the layers we've turned on borders and labels which is why you can see the outline of Alaska uh, you can see the different seas um, Gulf of Alaska, Bering Sea um, this province of Russia uh, we do have places of interest turned on, we do have roads and, and we'll get into more of that later uh, but from here you can zoom in just by double clicking and you can see as you get closer um, different uh, pieces of the layers will turn on so right now if I open up more over here under the layers you can see that I'm going to uncheck place categories uh, and that took off a lot of that other stuff uh, but you can see it's they really are actual pictures um, that Google has taken So here, this looks like a mountain range. I don't know if this is um, a river, possibly. Um, but another kind of cool thing that Google Earth starts out with is um, in your places here, they do have a sightseeing tour. And if you open up that folder, you can see, move this window down, all of these pre-done places for you. So like the Eiffel Tower, um, Google Headquarters, Mount Fuji, St. Peter's Basilica. Um, so let's go, if I click on the Eiffel Tower, double click on it, and we fly over. And it'll take you right in the Eiffel Tower. Give you directions to it if you need it. And so it's kind of hard to see um, because we're not we don't have the 3D mode in. But here's the Eiffel Tower, Oops. and you can see its shadow right here. Um, but what you can do if we jump into layers um, is there's one for 3D buildings, and the 3D buildings are created by users. Um, if you have 3D buildings checked, it's really cool, but it takes longer for your screen to load, and so there's kind of the drawback of it but you can see that someone's done quite a bit of Paris um, and if you double click and you zoom in <coughs> uh, once you get down to here you also notice that up here in the right hand corner you can turn which way you're looking and notice here is an eyeball and that changes what your viewpoint is so if I get down here in between the buildings I can push the up button and now it's almost like I'm just walking down the street another great place to do that is um, in Times Square you zoom back out and we already have 3D buildings checked so they should show up <coughs> Again, it takes a while, especially in a, a big place like New York City, where a lot of the buildings are done. This is Times Square. You can see the buildings starting to pop up around us. Some buildings are done a little bit better than others. Some of them have, you know, color, and they actually look like the they look like the actual building. <coughs> see, this one's done with color. 
some of them if, if you click on they'll give you a better idea of what they are um, but um, it just kind of depends on where you're at um, like I know a lot of um, baseball and football stadiums are done there's a couple buildings in Omaha um, we can show those um, tilt back up And then you can either mouse scroll or you can use this plus and minus to zoom in and out. So now you can kind of see what New York looks like now. Um, if we go to go to the Empire State Building, just shift this over a little bit, and you can see there the Empire State Building. Oops. Zoom out. There it is. So, and then you can use these navigation tools to kind of spin around it. Tell your view back up. So you get kind of an idea of the New York skyline. And you can zoom a little bit closer to it. Um, so it's really 3D buildings is really kind of a cool thing. Um, you know if you go to the right spot um, if we go to Omaha spins us around zooms us in you can see that if you go downtown here's the downtown Omaha skyline so it kinda gives kids a, a different perspective There's the Quest Center. So, and if you click on the Quest Center, uh, it does give you some information um, just from Wikipedia, but it, then it gives you the actual link to the website. So, kind of depends on um, who created it. We turn around and look back to downtown Omaha. You can see the first national tower here. Here's Woodman. Here's the World Herald building. So there are some uh, buildings. I'm not sure what this is. Landmark Center. Um, so it's kind of nice that they give you an idea of what they are. Double Tree Hotel. So, um, so 3D buildings is, is really neat.